let us discuss how does PPC allow you to solve the central problems or to allocate the central problems. So the very first problem that you can solve or at least you can analyze better with the help of the concept of reduction possibility curve is the problem of allocation of resources. Now PPC since it represents various combinations of two goods that an economy can produce with the help of given resources in technology it also shows how are resources exactly allocated. For example, let us say if the economy is to operate at combination B where you will get more units of good Y compared to unit X. Now why is this happening? Why are you gonna get more units of good Y here than X? It is simply because of the way it has been plotted or the way it has been made here. So at point B it is going to have more of good Y so over here y would be more and good x would be less. This is a simple allocation of resource. This shows how resources are allocated. Similarly, if I was to take point E, then point at point E you would find more of good x being made and less of good y being made. Because at E, you're making more of X and less of Y. So this is how problem of allocation of resource is, if not solved, then at least shown with the help of PPC. The second problem that PPC solves is the problem of inefficiency any point on the PPC curve would represent full employment or fully efficiency. Since we are discussing efficiency, so over here let's say that if there is a point on the PPC like any point D, B, E or if whichever point you talk about each of these points are going to show you full efficiency because it is at any of these points that whatever combination you will make you would be efficiently utilizing your resource. But if there is a point inside the PPC curve, now let me call this point X. Now this point X inside the PPC curve would show you lesser combinations of both good Y and X. This clearly over here tells that any point which is inside the PPC shows inefficiency because you are not able to produce more of either of the goods. Therefore, please remember a point on the PPC curve shows full efficiency of resources. A point inside the PPC curve shows inefficiency of resources. Another problem that you can solve with the help of PPC is the problem of employment in the economy. Any point on the PPC curve represents full employment of resources. It means whatever resource that you had has been employed fully. So be it point C here, D here, any point which is operating on the PPC would show full employment. So if it is on the PPC, it is showing you full employment. But wait a moment, what about a point outside the PPC? Let us say if there was a point M here, would it show anything? No, because this is one point which is simply unattainable. You can't have point M. It is completely out of your range. It surpasses PPC. It shows that you are to produce more of Y and more of X, but you do not have enough employment of resources here. Therefore, please understand that a PPC curve is capable of showing employment of resources and a point inside the PP curve in terms of employment would also denote something. The point inside the PP curve 
represents underemployment so this point will show you underemployment please understand underemployment would mean that here you are not employing all the resources that you are having if let us say you are having 1000 crore rupees with you to spend then maybe you are not spending the entire amount and a point on the PPC would show full employment. A point outside the PPC is unattainable. You can't have it. This is simply unattainable. The fourth problem that can be solved with the help of PPC is the problem of growth of resources. Over here, if you see your PPC moving rightward as it is moving here, it's going rightwards. You can see every combination moving from A to A1, B to B1, C1 and so on. And I'm going to call it PPC1 and PPC2. So your curve of PPC1 is able to shift to PPC2. There is a rightward shift in the PPC. Now let us try and understand how is this possible? Why or how can you have this kind of a rightward shift? Why would there be a rightward shift in the PPC curve? For this, the answer is very simple. Either your technology improves or you have new resources. Because with technology improving or new resources your capability to produce both x and y will increase let us say today you are using a keyboard to type and i was to tell you that no more keyboards would be used and you will have to go back to using typewriters would it not affect your efficiency it of course will affect your efficiency therefore if let us say I tell you about a new technology that tells which is already there in the market that if I am speaking and a system is able to pick up my words and it is able to write, it is able to type what I say, then that is again a gradation of technology. There are so many examples that one can take in this regard. Like let us say if I tell you that what if a medicine has been discovered that will improve your efficiency to work and you will be able to work for at least 15 hours a day. Now what will that do? This will shift your PPC towards right. Right? What if I tell you that there is a resource that has been found that will ensure that you can have sunlight at any time of the day? Is it not good for the economy? Is it not good for production? It is good for production. What if I was to tell you that there is a technology that will make sure that every single time you forget something, it helps you to recall now this is pretty much unimaginary and it looks impossible but be it anything so the ppc curve has to go rightward only on two things either your technology improves or you discover new resources also can your ppc move leftwards the answer to the question is yes it can move leftwards provided that there are two things which are happening in the economy one there is a degradation of technology that means the technology that you are using is outdated and it is not letting you make more of both the goods so instead of operating at c you would be operating at c2 that represents less of both good x and good y whereas the second point which is responsible is the loss of resource let us say because of certain natural calamity there is a loss of land because of famine you are not able to produce as much as much you were able to produce in the previous year will it not affect your production it definitely will affect your production and it will make your ppc move leftwards therefore please understand that for ppc to move leftwards there are two things either degradation of technology or loss of resources or both together will make your ppc go leftwards Also, there is a possibility these days, some questions have been coming in the CBSE board exams and as per those questions, I'm going to discuss a special case with you over here. Let us say that government of India has launched a scheme 
to eradicate massive unemployment in the country that means right now you're having unemployment in the country and the scheme has been launched which is going to make sure that massive unemployment decreases now it does not means it would get zero it would be finished it cannot be finished in a day's time it cannot finish because of introduction of any you know scheme but one thing is for sure that conditions will improve so let us say if your PPC shows a point inside the PPC now this of course would show underemployment okay or unemployment now because of this kind of a scheme that targets mass public or targets mass eradication this will not move directly to the PPC this point let us say M will not be at C it cannot be at C but what will happen is that this point will start moving from M towards the PPC now why is this happening this is happening because earlier your employment of resources were, was poor but with the help of this new technology sorry but with the help of this new scheme you are able to produce more of both maybe not fully but yes you are able to at least improve therefore the point will move from let us say m1 to m2 but it cannot move to m3 m3 is not a condition which is possible if it is at m1 it will move towards m2 showing that although a mechanism has been taken but this mechanism is not capable of giving you a perfect solution rather it is only going to improve the condition which is prevailing moreover let us also cross examine this uh, concept with another example let us say government of india as you are all aware has launched a new scheme called skilled india now do you think that skilled india would help india to improve what will be its impact on the PPC? In this case, we are talking about improving people's efficiency, improving the resource that we have. Now, in this case, the entire PPC curve will shift rightwards, meaning that the resource has improved. So, please make sure every single time you get certain questions and they are they make you answer in terms of what is the impact on the PPC curve, please read it very, very carefully. Stay updated. If you have got any doubt regarding anything that was not clear to you, please feel free to type your doubt in the comment section. Also, we are providing a link that you can use to put up your doubts. Thanks for watching this video.